However, we have some breaking news. Julian Draxler! Julian Draxler! Draxler with a chance! And he may well get it back, and he does! Julian Draxler! And it took a little bit of nous and a little bit of genius. So, if you've never played any of the old FIFAs, or even if you're just under the age of 17, you're probably wondering, who the hell is this guy? This man is called Julian Draxler. And I'm not even going to lie to you, I completely forgot who this guy was until I randomly found him in the reserves of PSG on kickoff when I played my friend. This guy has just only turned 30 and back in the day, this guy was probably the best young centre attacking midfielder in Europe and had the potential to be even the best in the world. Draxler had the world at his feet, destroying every single club, even by Munich in the Bundesliga. And he even won his first ever World Cup on the first tournament he ever played in. Forget Mbappe, this guy was incredible and was meant to be the best next thing. So what the hell happened? Drexler was born on the 20th of September 1993 in Gladbach, Germany, and his love of football was evident from just a young age. His talent caught the attention of local clubs, and at the only the age of eight, he joined the youth academy of FC Schalke 04, where he would begin his hone to skills and the layer of foundation for his future success. Drexler made his professional debut for Schalke in 2011, becoming the club's youngest ever Bundesliga player at only the age of 17. His performances quickly earned him a praise and attention from top clubs across Europe. From Schalke, he achieved 29 goals and 29 assists for the Bundesliga side from just the age of 17 to 20, which for this age is actually incredible. Him and Schalke won the Pokal Cup in 2012, which is equivalent to the FA Cup from England. After the 2013 season, he went on to play in the World Cup and won the trophies on his first ever World Cup session. But eventually, all the playing caught up with him and he sustained an injury, which caused him to be out for months. Then came the Kevin De Bruyne transfer. This transfer caused Wolfsburg in need for a new centre attacking midfielder and who other than Julian Draxler to hit, fit this position. Now then, he starred for Wolfsburg and on his first and only season, he got 8 goals and 10 assists for the club, which isn't too bad for the youngster. He played very well in the Champions League for Wolfsburg, which made him open to European clubs and this got him a lot of clubs interested in him. Probably the biggest and best club in the world at the moment, the French giant Paris Saint-Germain went for the German and bought him for 41 million euros to join the likes of Neymar and Angel Di Maria in the same transfer market in 2017. For the most part of things, Julian played very well in his first season and showed off a lot of talent but had some, a lot of problems when it came to the first team squad at PSG, where the likes of Neymar, Lucas, Di Maria and Verratti starting over German constantly. Nevertheless, he sustained injuries over injuries over injuries in his time in France and caused a lot of pauses in his career and his playing time at the club. Overall, he played really well at PSG and acquired four French titles, which I'm not going to lie, isn't hard at PSG, but it's still impressive, and four cups, with 26 goals and 41 assists for the club in five years of playing for them. He went on to play for Benfica on loan from PSG, which I'm not going to lie, went absolutely horribly, whilst only scoring twice for the Portuguese side from 18 appearances, which isn't great at all. Yet, he still won the league with Benfica, attaining a trophy to his collection. Drax's journey has been filled with highs and lows, from winning domestic titles to battling injuries. However, for it all, he remained resilient, demonstrating his passion for the game and commitment to excellence. Now, like every other footballer in the world, Draxler finds himself at the end of his career at 30 years old in the Saudi League, playing for Al Alil, and he has scored three goals and assisted two in six games, which isn't too bad to start off his career, but we'll see how he goes with it. Maybe he'll return back to Europe, maybe he won't. We'll have just to see. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Comment down below if you actually knew who Draxler was in the past or if you played the old TVs, obviously you saw him. Let me know if you actually knew who he was. And also, guys, if you want to see any other videos like this, make sure to comment down below who you would like to see next. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the video. It's your boy, James. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.